Hey folks, um, I'm back today and we're going to do a little mini album and we're going to make this little album right here and um, this one has little pockets in it and they have little little pockets that you can um, stick stuff in. So we're going to make that. We're going to do one with an envelope punch board and then we're going to do one. I'm going to show you how to do one with just any envelopes that you have. Um, this is um, just social envelopes what I'm going to use. These are four and three quarter by six and a half. But you can use whatever you have after you see um, how I do it. Okay? So ignore the box. I've had it for a while. So let's get started. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. You're going to need four pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And you are going to cut those. If you're using your envelope punch board, we're making the envelopes. You're going to cut those at eight and one eighth. Whoopsie. Eight and one eighth. Square. So eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth. Okay. I'm going to do one more with you. Eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth. Okay. And I've already cut the other two. So we do not need that. Now, for your paper, you're going to need eight pieces. For the one for the envelope punch board, you're going to need eight pieces that are five. So five. I'm going to do two out of one sheet. Five by four and three quarter. Okay. So four and three quarter and four and three quarter and you need eight of these okay then you're going to need um one that is five we're going to need two that's five that's four and three quarter um i don't want to use these hold on i want to use the ones i'm going to use for the cover so scratch that you pick whichever color you want but I'm going to use the one that um, um, I'm using for the cover. Okay, so four and three quarter, and then whatever whatever um, width you want. And I'm going to do uh, one and a half. That way I can get two out of this one extra piece. Okay, so four and three quarter. Um, by one and a half and that's going to be for the two pockets that we do okay it's all the cutting you're going to need for this one so you can move that aside and grab your envelope punch board so for your envelope punch board you're going to put it put your paper in and punch and score four and one eight okay so punch score line it up with your score line punch score and do that all the way around okay. I'm going to do that one more time with this one line it up the first one you have to line up on the number the rest of them you just line up on the score line so four and one eighth punch score and go all the way around lining up with the score line And I've done two. <clears throat> I've done two to save time. I probably need that because I don't know where my other one is. Okay. So then we're going to take our four. We got four envelopes we're going to make. Okay. So we're going to take all four of those. And we're just going to fold on all of the lines. to do them straight as possible and we're going to fold them up now if you have issue here like here in these little creases if you have any issue with buckling or anything like that you can just take little scissors and snip that just snip a little piece off okay 
if you have any issue with, like if it doesn't get creased exactly right, and if you have any issues at all with buckling. Just take you um, some little detail scissors or um, whatever scissors you have and cut you a little notch out. This, I got this idea originally from a We Are Memory Keepers um, article, um, and I just, I think that one was for um, a bigger size, and I just adjusted it um, to what I wanted to make. And I think that article is, was probably seven or eight years ago. So it's been a long time. So, so then you just look. And then if you look and see that anything is folding funny, like if it's buckling anywhere, then you can take and cut it. Okay, then you're gonna take these and I'm and decide how you want them. You either want them this way or this way. I'm doing the five inch going this way okay so you're gonna lay this in okay and we're gonna put this down but before we do that we're gonna fold this we're gonna fold this one back get it out of the way okay now we're going to put this one right here okay so when it folds it's gonna fold up like this now you can do it like this like you can line it up like this, which is what I would probably, what I'm going to do. Okay. So you're just going to take your adhesive and put it on. You can use, um, you can use liquid glue if you would like, and you want it to fold this way. Okay. And you can use liquid glue if you would like. Um, I'm just using ATG for the, um, speed of the video. Okay. So then you have that, all right? Then we're gonna take this one, our next one, make sure that it's the right direction. Okay, and we're gonna fold all of these up. Now you can go ahead um, and close these, and that's what I would do. So take this one, fold this one up first so that you have a pocket, so that's gonna create your pocket. So fold this one in, okay? so that when it's all closed up, you'll have this pocket over here. And then I would fold this one up, and then this one, I don't know what that is, this one, we're just gonna take and fold down like that, okay? Then we're gonna take our next one, and it's going to lay on top of this one, okay? Like that. Now. You can do it like this, which is what I will do because it helps me line it up better. So, my tapes, my tape is sticking to everything. So we're just gonna put, put us some tape down, okay? And then you're gonna make sure that you do it the right way. You're gonna flip it this way, okay? So flip this up, they all flip this way. And then just lay this one, line this one up the best you can. Nope, that's not right. Open this. There we go. Now, line this one up the best you can um, without going over the crease. Okay. All right. Now open it up and close this one up. I know that was confusing. I'll try to do better on this one confused myself. Close this one up. Okay. We're going to fold this up and do this one so that we're going to we're going to have this pocket, okay? So close this one down. Now, with this one, make sure, remember, leave that one open. All right. Then make sure that you have it on the right side. Take this and it's going to lay like this. So flip it over. Put your tape on the back. Okay. 
then it's going to go like this. So I'm going to close it because it's going to go like this. I'm going to close it so that I can not go over the crease so that I can see that mark better. Okay. And then lay it down. Okay. So then you have that. All of those are stuck down. You have to stick this one down. I'm telling you what. You would think it was Monday around here. Okay, and we're gonna stick that down, bring this one up. And you can do this way if you want. I just bring the bottom one up. It's just, it um, just goes better for me in my mind or whatever, okay? So we have that. Now, we need to bring this one in So we're going to flip this around. I need to clean my desk off. So it needs to happen. Okay. So we're going to bring this one over and do the same thing here. This one up and this one down. <laughs> my gosh, somebody. Okay. We're going to bring this one down. All right. Then we're going to fold it all together and be squishing it, squishing it, okay? Then we're going to take here yeah, this, we're going to take this flap, and um, yours will be straighter than mine. We're going to take this flap and we're going to fold it over, and it's going to be like the binding, okay? So then when you open, you're going to have this. I'm going to do it this way. Um, so like this, okay? Because I'm going to have this, this part be in the front. All right. Now you're going to take and put this on there, but don't put it on there too tight because you want to be able to have a little room when you put your paper and stuff in, okay? So we have this, this, and this. Now, if you see now that you need to cut some of those little um, edges, you can still do it if you have detail scissors. Like right there, I need to cut an edge. Um, if I can find my scissors, which I probably cannot without throwing stuff, maybe these will work. So just take your scissors. I do recommend detailed scissors, and I do have some in that bag somewhere and just cut it off so that it folds better, okay? Um, so there's that. Now you just keep manipulating it how you want, all right? Then you decide what papers you want, and I've already cut all of these to save time, okay? And then you're just going to stick them down. Oopsie. I'm just going to take this and stick it down. You can measure different if you don't want as big of a um, thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the back on because I know what the back's going to be. And you can work this to lay flat. Um, you just have to keep working the paper. But it will, um, and you can always put a belly man on it if you, um, if you want. Okay. So then on the inside, we're going to do this page here. Okay. So on these, put put adhesive on the top and the bottom. So run a line of adhesive on the top and the bottom and then on this just go like this is what I do I just go like in an X and then down the middle okay and then take this because you want to be able to keep that pocket take this and stick it down on this one it does not matter one it does not matter so you need you can put tape 
adhesive all over the whole thing, okay? And then again, I'm going to do it again. So figure out which side is which and put your adhesive on the top and the bottom and then make you an X and then I go down the middle. Like I said, you can use any adhesive you want here. Um, totally up to you. And if you have, the good thing about ATG tape is it, it'll rub off if you get it anywhere. Um, let's see. Um, let's see here. Let's do, let's do red again. Yeah, let's do, let's do a red and we'll end with two pinks. And you can use, um, I would probably use different paper, like each piece would be different, but for this I just, um, decided to just use four sheets. Okay, so we've come to another. So X. Ooh, down the middle. <laughs> Look, sometimes it just messes up. You can fix it, you can fix it. Don't freak out. It's all good. I leave mishaps in because they happen. Okay, we have one more. One more. That's what I get for trying to go too fast. and stick her down. Alright. Now you can decide um, you know, if you want it to go this way or how you want it to go. Okay, so now we have um, the pockets we're going to put in. So where did they go? Now I would use wet glue for this but I'm just going to use the ATG. Put it on three sides of course with the top side being open. Side being open. So we're going to put one right here. Of course, take your time with these. I'm, you know, I don't take the time that I would take if I wasn't doing a video, but y'all take your time with this. All right, and then we're going to take some of these, some of these cutoffs, and we're going to cut them. I'm not even going to measure, just going to cut. and stick them in. Then you can have little tags as well. Mm -hmm. So just cut. Of course you can measure these. I would measure them. I'm just showing you. And tuck them in. Okay. And you can decorate the front however you want. Do a belly band if you want. And then you have a little album that has pockets that you can stuff stuff in. You can stuff stuff about your pictures or whatever you want to do. So that is one using the envelope punch board. Now, you can do the same thing with envelopes. All right. Now, you need to pre prep these envelopes. I have four of them here. And we need to prep them so that we can have pockets. So what you're going to do with that is you are going to, you can decide how many that you want. Okay. But what you're going to do with that, this I'm going to take them all, line them all up at once. Hopefully this will work. It may not. Line them all up at once. Put them in my trimmer. And you're just going to um, it may not work with both. Let's do two at a time. Alright. Line them up and just going to cut a little sliver. Okay, not much at all. Just a little sliver off. Okay, so not much at all. 
just a little sliver. Okay, you, you just want to open that up. Okay. Okay, I think I cut more off that one, but that's okay. It's all right. All right, so this should have opened up. So now you have pockets. Okay. I haven't done any paper or anything. I'm just going to show you how you're going to do this. Okay. So they all should be open. You're going to fold one of them back. Okay. Then for this one, you are going to have to slide it in. Okay. So I would glue all of these together or you can or you can um, slide them in one at a time if you want maybe like that okay and you can do you can slide them in like this if you would like okay or you can or you can do um you can glue them all together and do it okay and then you would have flip 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 okay um, so for this one I'm just gonna slide them in now <clears throat> I would use wet glue for this let me see if I can find my wet glue just so you'll have a little wiggle room okay so you want this out of the way you want to put glue you know when your glue comes out <laughs> you know when your glue works When your glue works, come on glue, come on, you, there you go. You cold this morning. All right. So you just put some glue on there and then you're going to take, and it helps to lift this part up and slide in to the crease. Okay. And then stick it down. All right, and then you can fold this one up and you can either go on top of this one or go under and I'm gonna go um, no not go under fold this back go under this that's what I decided to do okay so glue now you can glue them all together at one time I recommend doing them one at a time because it's easier okay and if you want to go the other way you have to glue them at the end you can't glue them so with this it's easier to go in um, and stick it out and now at the end of it if they're not all even you can just cut some more off cut some more off the end and you can make them even that's one good thing about these doing this one is you can make sure that the the edges are even at the end okay so just stick that in as close as you can and stick it down okay fold it over fiddle with it a little bit make it do what you want it to do and then for this we're gonna fold over as the closure you can add a different I mean you can add a different binding if you would like to um, like you can put paper over it or whatever you want to do um, but for this I'm just gonna fold it in okay so then stick it down and then you have you a little book and um, there's glue it's okay it dries clear not a big deal um, then you have your little book your little, little book that has your pockets and you can add as many pages as you want now just remember when you're doing when you're putting your paper on just put it on this side don't so that you keep your pocket okay so just measure measure what your envelope is and take about a quarter inch off that's what I do take about a quarter inch off and then stick it down 
So there is that without an envelope punch board. You can do any envelopes you want. And then here's the one with the envelope punch board. Okay. I hope um, that made sense. And I hope that you make some for yourself, for your memories. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Happy crafting, guys. Bye.